All right, just sitting down at the Vanguard here, guys. Had a little incident with the ballistic cannon, as you can see in the back there. But I thought it was a really good opportunity to make a video out of this to show you how to manage controls for these kinds of situations, because when your ship needs repairs, you often need to manage a lot of things at once. I know that key bindings can be really daunting, control schemes can be hard to figure out, and you know, sometimes in Star Citizen, for that kind of thing, you just feel like you need, you know, a, a helping hand. So, when any good control setup, you really need to stay organized, and you need to make sure you have a good grip on your controls. So let's make sure we got a good grip on our throttle, good grip on our stick, and then of course, because we have a centered stick in this setup, that means we can still have space for a mouse and a mouse pad on the right, and we can take advantage of that. I know sometimes people ask, hey, isn't that considered cheating? My answer is, hey, you're just taking advantage of a different control method. Anyway, you can see in the weapons MFD that we are missing the big gun on the Vanguard, so we're going to go to a rest stop here, and we're going to get some repairs. And I'll show you how this kind of control scheme can be used to an advantage there. Alright, so we can do this all nice and relaxed, so we're going to go into our Moby Glass and plot the route to the rest stop. So we'll just open up the star map here, and we will zoom all the way out, and we will go to, well, let's go with one around Hurston, I think. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, no, okay, we zoomed in a little bit too far. Let's zoom out. Okay, uh, Hurston L2, I think. Yeah, L2. Let's go there. So we'll just set our route, and we're good. Look how fast it was able to get back on the stick on that one. Alright, so we made it to Hurston L2. The only downside to a control scheme like this is, yeah, sometimes your hands get a little cramped up. Pretty convenient when you got to scratch an inch on your nose, though. But if your hands are cramped up, then you can always just change things around, and you can always handle the stick in your left hand if you like. Just gives you an option to switch it up, you know? But yeah, the great part about when you have all your controls set up properly is uh, you can keep flying and you can hail the station at the same time. That way you're not fumbling through the MFDs or your Moby Glass while you're trying to get close to the station. It just saves you a bit of time. But even with a control setup like this, sometimes you do have to jumble things around to make things work. Always say that control bindings are an ever-evolving process that you never get truly finished with. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen my stick modification, uh, twisting downwards is what causes the ship to go down. Well, that was a little bit rough, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to show you what it does. Alright, so we've landed, and uh, yeah, here's a look at the combine cannon that has ended up inside of the ship. Anyway, we'll get that repaired, and then we'll get underway. Alright guys, so at this point, uh, we're, we're fully repaired, ship's back operational, we're in orbit around the moon here, and we're good to go. But uh, I want to show you one more thing. One second here, okay, yeah, there we go. See, it's, it's things like this. Sometimes you feel you need somebody else's help. You know, sometimes you feel like you need a helping hand. You got a ship with a turret. 
you need to cover your six, well, when you have a control scheme like this, that's no problem. So make sure you keep your control schemes organized and you put a lot of thought into how you're setting up your key bindings and the arrangements of your controllers. Not everybody has head tracking. I do with my setup, but with a control scheme like this, there's other ways you can kind of get the same effects too. Anyway guys, I hope that shows why it's important to really get a good grasp on your control scheme and why it's a good idea to keep all the convenient controls very uh, handy. But even with a control scheme like this, my hands are really full, so if you can, give the video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next one.